Hey guys, it's Brianna and this week's video is about money. That's right, I tracked my spending for an entire week and broke it all down for you. We're gonna take it day by day and I'm also going to do my best to include all of my monthly expenses broken out by week as well so you can get a more clear picture of how much I'm spending. I kind of missed the boat on this trend. People were doing these videos a while back, but I came across a few of them recently and decided I wanted to give it a shot. I felt like, why not? Especially now that I have my own place, I thought it might be interesting to see how much I'm spending every week. A little bit of context, I am a full-time contractor for NBC Universal, and I do have a couple side projects, some that make me money and some that don't. And I would say I don't spend too much money like i don't think i spend more than the average person i don't eat out too much especially now because you know miss corona i order food occasionally and i wouldn't say that i go on too many shopping sprees so yeah i'd say that i probably spend about the average but i guess we'll see so let's just get right into it and cross your fingers for me that i don't break the bank so i am about to venmo my roommate for the rent this month and I don't think I'm gonna include that in the weekly total just because that's a monthly expense but what I will do is calculate how much it costs me per week. I will also calculate out utilities for the week and include that in my weekly total and I'll include it as a Monday payment because technically today is the day when my roommate and I peg each other for rent and utilities every month. I am currently editing this video and I just wanted to add this quick clip in here because originally I was in, gonna include all of our like streaming services in with the utilities but I decided it would be a little bit more interesting to have that broken out for you to see. So I'm um, gonna include the cost that we pay for all of our streaming so that we can get TV um, that includes YouTube TV, Netflix, CBS All Access, and Disney Plus, and I think that's it. Um, but I'm going to lump those all together under a separate cost. So, just wanted to add that in. Now, back to the video. The lighting is super cute right now. Um, I am heading over to Qdoba to get myself dinner. I do need to go food shopping soon, but I will probably go tomorrow. In the meantime, I still need to eat dinner. So I'm gonna go to Qdoba and get food. Originally, I was gonna have it delivered because I was feeling lazy. Also, I don't know if you can tell, it's snowing out. I didn't really feel like going out. But then I realized if I did a delivery order, it was gonna be a $15 minimum plus like delivery fee and tip and all that stuff when I could pay like $9 if I just go to pick it up myself. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm also picking up food for my roommate while I'm out, but obviously she's paying for her own thing. So guess we're adding Qdoba to the list this week. It is Wednesday morning and I just went food shopping and now I'm gonna put everything away. I'll show you what I got as I go. Tomato, tomato and a pepper, ham and cheese, frozen fresh rice, juice, Italian dressing, cream cheese, two little ice creams, pizza dough, green chilies, french toast sticks, cookie dough, mac and cheese, two boxes of penne, frozen broccoli, lettuce, I don't know how you pronounce it, bouillon, bouillon, bouillon cubes, pickles, soup, more soup, enchilada sauce, two loaves of bread, two things of bagels, and eggs. And that's it. I did not spend any money yesterday, which is Friday, which is kind of sad that that's the first day this week that I haven't spent any money, I'm pretty sure. But it's Saturday today and I am heading over to the dollar store because I actually just got a bar cart, which I will show you. And my roommate had a good idea to get some stuff at the dollar store to kind of style it, like maybe some baskets or little things to put on there because it's really empty right now. And then, of course, the best thing to stock it with is actual liquor. So we're going to go to a liquor store after that. So I will definitely be spending some money today. I'll show you the bar cart so you can see what I'm talking about. Like I said, I didn't order the bar cart this week, so it doesn't count towards my like weekly total. But it did deliver yesterday or two days ago. Yesterday, I think. Here it is. Like I said, it's very empty. 
got it off Wayfair, but it has the little rack for glasses and then the wine little rack and then there's like a shelf on the bottom. So very simple, but we're gonna see if we can get some more stuff to add to it. Okay, super quick liquor store and dollar store haul. Sangria, white zin, and also got some sweet tea vodka, firefly, and then I don't know if I'll actually put this on the car cart, maybe lover boy. It is the lemon iced tea flavor. I have not tried yet, I've tried the other two. And then from the dollar store, we got some glassware, a little, I think it's supposed to be a little tiny vase, but we're gonna use it probably for straws or something like that. And then another little glass vase, which will probably be used for just holding like toothpicks and I have some wine pens you can put in there. And then two different style glasses, regular wine glass and then a martini glass. I couldn't help myself, I bought some candy. Not sorry about it. The most important purchase, we have our two new family members. They're twins and their names are Zach and Cody. Um, we have a bunch of other frog themed things here, which I'll show you in a second. So these were very fitting. Uh, they're probably meant to go in like a garden, but we're putting them on the bar cart. So these are our boozy little boys. I think these are the only two. So this guy, which is a planter, but the plant that we had in there died, so we need to get a new one for him. And then this one, which is meant to be an outdoor one, but we took it in because it's winter time. We didn't want him to be cold in the snow or get ruined by like someone shoveling. Okay, now we can set everything up. It is Sunday today and I managed to spend zero dollars today, which is a great way to end off the week. So I will send it over to future Brianna for final thoughts. And that was everything I spent this week. Let's total it up. Here is the total for how much I spent this week. I spent $555.58. Not bad, I actually expected it to be more than that. My bank account, I'm sure, is thanking me. But it's all about perspective. I live in Massachusetts, about 20, 25 minutes outside of Boston, so that gives you some perspective on where I'm at in the world. Let me know in the comments below if you think I spent a lot of money this week, or if you expected it to be more. Personally, I expected to spend more money this week. My biggest expenses, of course, were my rent and my groceries, and I would say I don't necessarily grocery shop every single week. It's more like every other week or every week and a half. I like to kind of buy enough to last me a while so that I don't have to go very often because I hate going to the grocery store. So that's gonna do it for what I spent in a week. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like, leave a comment below about your spending habits, and make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you get notified every time I post a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.